And that deal could determine whether local businesses and families sink or swim as unemployment and homelessness rise in Leon County. And tonight, local leadership is asking Congress to do more. ABC 27's Christian Thomas joins us live outside Tallahassee City Hall. So Christian, what are they asking Congress to do? Passing a relief bill that's equal to the need. Those are Mayor John Daly's words sent to Congress today. City commissioners agreeing tonight, saying that the people in the community deserve more help. We're doing everything we can to be good community partners, but I'm calling on Congress to be a great community partner as well. Tallahassee Mayor John Daly asking Congress to take a second look at the new stimulus package for coronavirus relief, saying $600 per person is not enough. He also wants eviction protection and direct payments for local governments. If we extend the moratorium on evictions and foreclosures for only a month, are we going to be right back where we are four weeks from now? The city is already at an $8 million deficit, not cutting utilities for 12,000 families since the pandemic. The stimulus package also brings back paycheck protection for small businesses. Welcome relief for Brett Fain. University sending kids home early, so that was a lot of our business being right here between FAMU and FSU. Fain owns the Iron Volt. They applied for federal help in the spring. He says business is still tough and another round is needed. Betty Proctor, co-owner of Obsessions Gift Shop, is in the same boat. All businesses can use a little more help, especially if they're small businesses. And although the package may not be what everyone would like, the goal is still the same, getting everyone through this tough time. We are being proactive with our response. We are working hard with citizens, with businesses, with nonprofits. And Christian, other local leaders are speaking up about the relief package as well. That's right. Commissioner Jack Porter in a statement to us told us that the $600 relief check is inadequate. We also spoke to Commissioner Diane Williams Cox, who says while she agrees with it, she thinks that this is something in the to move in the right direction when it comes to waiting for more stimulus next year. Live in Tallahassee, Christian Thomas, ABC 27.